Hi, Artie. Oh, boy, there he is. What's up, young lady? Hi, Guapo. Knuckles, he's got the fattest legs. Don't show any French people, they eat frog legs. Tonight we feel. Yeah, this looks like a pretty thing. Isn't that beautiful? We're just here to help each other. I it. love it. All right, get him right in there, dude. I just got here, and he goes, hey, look, man, do you want this? What's going on, everyone? I'm hanging out here in uh, the makeshift winter abode for my Badiger and Fly River Turtles. Um, we've got to do a little cleaning of the water here. I'm gonna drain it, we're gonna refill it, but more importantly, we are gonna get one of the Fly River Turtles in here is gonna be getting a new home. We can't have these two together. Um, basically, they're gonna just keep biting on each other and that's no good, we don't want it. So I was thinking, I'm like, what can I do? Oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I've got three Fly Rivers, two of them in one enclosure and we need to get things sorted so i remembered i have a good buddy of mine who happens to have an indoor pond right in the neighborhood so we're gonna do something of a uh, oh i suppose a little babysitting deal with this fly verb he's gonna be able to keep it for a while and maybe i'll even give it to him who knows but uh, let's go ahead and drain this out, and then we're gonna get one of the Fly Rivers out, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish this video someplace else at another location. All right, uh, it looks like I got a little bit of a clog here. Let's see what's going on here. Sometimes you get a little cloggy cloggy. There we go. What's in there? All right, well, that cured the clog, that's for sure. There we go. All right, we're gonna let that drain out, and let's go ahead and drain this one right over here. Oh my gosh, guys, it has been a chilly, chilly December so far. So what I like to do is drain the water out. We're gonna fill it up. The water that's gonna refill is of course gonna be clean. It is also going to be uh, warm. So that's important. In the meantime, let's see. I know I've got a little fly river in here as well. And I like, there it is. He flipped over this little hide box, but this little guy is right there in the middle, of course. And I don't think we're gonna be able to reach it. But what we'll do is, uh, since there's only gonna be one fly river in there, we're gonna take one of these Badiger out and we're gonna put it in there. And that will, in turn, relieve some of the stress on the uh, pond. You know, I, I, it's gonna be easier to care for. Remember, this is just temporary. I just don't wanna have to go back and forth moving these animals in and out of the uh, giant wreck pond we have. Because as you guys can see, let's go over there. It is a large volume of water and it's harder for me to keep warm. Now, I also have the African cichlids in there and they seem to be doing okay. I do run the well water through it. They seem to go down lower when it's cooler because I, I, the temperature, I don't have a circulator on the bottom any longer. So that kind of creates a stratus, uh, a little strata in the water columns. Uh, I think that's called a thermal climb, but uh, you can kind of see here, it is incredibly clear. It is just looking amazing. And uh, recently I went up and I cleared out the wetland. So I did a little work on the wetland and come February, I have some friends of mine from Aquascape coming. We're gonna do a full uh, clean out of the wetland filter here. Uh, well, yeah, they call it a wetland filter, but it's uh, basically your, uh, your wetland. It is a natural filtration with gravel that goes down six foot. The water comes up from it. We got algae cleaning the water. We got plant life cleaning the water. Whenever you trim back the plants, you're removing those nitrogenous wastes from the water column. Just a cool day here. And you can see also, since we're hanging, you can also kind of see that our good buddies, the gators, are probably hanging out in the mud. Here's our red foots doing well. Oh, no, they're not hanging out in the mud. They're trying to soak up the sun. What's up, young lady? Hi, Dale. Where's your boyfriend? Where is her boyfriend? Big old snaggletooth, he's around somewhere. He may be in the water. But she's definitely out and about, which is really cool. I wonder if she'll turn around if I go in there. Let's go see. Let's go ahead and open this. It's nice to have secure gates. There she is, look at her. She's a gorgeous girl. 
What a beauty. She's trying to get as much sun as she can possibly get at the moment. So there she is just kind of soaking it up and it is beating right down on her. And being that she's got that black coloration, she's absorbing all that radiation. And these are tough animals. These guys can deal with our winters for sure as they are endemic to Florida. Okay, now where's Snags? I don't see him anywhere. I don't want to get caught up in that mud down there, but there's the possibility he's right there. Uh, so it is now our dry season. So rain is going to be much more infrequent. So that's going to go ahead and continue to evaporate as the water table goes lower and lower. If I need to do something like fill it with water, I do have the ability to do so. Let's go back and see what is happening with our tubs but i think you guys will enjoy this i think this is going to be a really cool spot for one of the fly rivers to live being that it's so close and i can be on hand to help out if there are any problems but i'm excited to uh get this animal to its new home here in a little bit look there's artie hi artie oh boy there he is puffing up now it is um chilly at night right now but, oh, that's a long way to go. Come on. This water is really clear, and it's actually a little bit more shaded from the uh, good old bamboo. This one gets a little bit more of the sunlight, so a lot more algae and so on. But I like to leave the pine needles and the detrius kind of at the bottom because on cooler nights, they will go kind of hide in that, and that actually creates a bit of insulation for these guys. So it looks like this is the, the turtle that I will be bringing to our new home. Oh my God, oh my God. One arm, one arm, one arm, bad back at the moment. Oh, we got him. Okay, let's hope he doesn't flip out of my hands here. I'm gonna just put him right down. There, there he goes, that's a nice size animal. You can see, this is where he was bit by the other one. It healed up, but I don't want to take any chances and have any other issues with this guy. So he is going to get moved into this pond, okay? And then we're gonna take this little dude, and that little dude is gonna come uh, with me to a new home. I think that's the plan that I've got going on here. Um, all right, this guy came back from my buddy, Fred. Let's go ahead and put him in here. There he goes. Good job. Now we're gonna scare that little guy. That'll make him move and we'll capture that one. So he'll go in. He's actually gonna be living in a spot that has quite a few large fish. There he is. Look at this pretty thing. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so adorable? And it actually felt really nice and warm, which makes me happy because uh, it was like 58 degrees last night. So I ran the well water, of course. This is kind of my area where I keep all my tubs. We've got one handy. It's kind of an off display area, if you will. I mean, this whole back area is more function than it is beauty. All right, we don't need any of the bamboo leaves. But that's good. Oh, easy does, my friend. Easy does, easy does. Got a little algae in his neck there. Two hands always. Yeah, all right. This is gonna be so cool. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead, continue to clean this up, and uh, then we're, oh look. Hi, Guapo. Hi, Lola. Love those two. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean things up. And then uh, once I get that all nice and done, the water start running again, we're gonna head uh, just a couple of blocks down the road and deliver this little guy and see where it's going. See you in a minute. So we're here, let's see. This is where we're at. Haven't seen this guy in a minute. I, I hate to just bombard you with hey. being on camera. Knuckles. What's up? What's going on? You want a, tor a turtle, a turtle? I, I love a turtle. All right, let's go give you a yeah. turtle. What's going on, bud? I haven't seen you in a minute. Uh, dude, it's been crazy. Yeah? I got a big project going on in the building right now. Let's go check it yeah. out. 
I'm gonna give you this project. Do you need me to move? Do no. these guys have to back in right here? Good, you're good. Hold up, he's got some. Oh, let's unveil this inside. Let's see it. Here, you Please. grab one side. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you what, we're gonna go inside and pick it up in a minute. All right, we're inside, we're and inside. dude, you got a lot going on here is, since the it, last time. It is a mess. Yeah, that's all right, though, mess. because uh, I have not seen this. This is the, the, the pride and joy right here, man. Oh, my God, dude. It is a saltwater pond. Yep, reef pond. No I mean, we built way. this thing specifically just to house our own reef, like, actually. We've got some monos in there. We've got some really cool pajama, you know, pajama fish. I don't know. These it's cleaner cool. rats These right here. Guys, These yeah. guys will take care of all the parasites on the The, the, thin, the yep. thin ones. Yeah. yeah, no bunch, bunch of way. different. Yeah, orange shoulder. We got the, this beautiful parrot fish. Holy crap, dude! Where'd you source these fish from? Uh, top shelf. Yeah, top shelf aquatics up oh, in uh, no way. Orlando. Yeah. That is amazing, dude. This really dude, cool. this is another level, bro. It is. This one we built out of wood. This one we're building behind us. Okay. Is out of concrete. So another saltwater pond. This is gonna be. I'm on edge. I'm 50-50. You're 50-50? I'm not sure what I want to do yet. No way, I love yeah. that. Look at this system, man. Yeah. The water is intense, it's awesome. Big UV yeah. sterilizer right there. Mm -hmm. You're not joking around, uh, bro. This one, we went, we went full blown on this one. Yeah. yeah. How many gallons is this? Roughly like 35 to 400,000. Yeah. Holy. So 3,500 to 4,000 gallons. That's incredible, man. Would you guys be stoked on this or what? And let me show you now. We've got, check this guy out, bud. So we're gonna add, and, and here's what's funny. I, 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 I give him this. Yeah. This is what you're getting, okay? Boom. So cool. Is that awesome? Pick it up, man. River, bro. Yep. I have got a baby one of this too, which is yeah. so cool. And and I kind of needed the space. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, make the do swap. that. But, but it's then, funny. But, well, that's what's funny. He <laughs> said swap because, guys, check this out. I, I just got here and he goes, hey, look, man, do you want this Mata Mata? <laughs> <laughs> I so, literally took his enclosure out today. I was going to put him in a temporary housing. I was going to put him in something temporary for the time being until I built something for him. Way. But I was like, dude, Kenan's here. Give me a fly river. Let's just swap. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I haven't had a Mata Mata in a while. They, they, you raised this one up. It was a little bit smaller. Okay, yeah. yeah I, I do have a baby as well. Okay, in, okay. In the turtle house, but. Very, very cool. So what I'll do is I'll take this guy yeah. and uh, we'll go ahead and put him in a tub for now. What The reason I'm doing this is because the rec pond, you know, we've had some cold nights. Yeah. It's just getting stressful. So I have like, I went in the rec pond. I grabbed all my big Batiger out and I have them in like large tubs. Yeah. The problem is, is I had three fly rivers and they fight each other. Fight. So I have one fly river in one tub, the other in another with some other turtles. It's Makes just sense. drama. Trying to keep, yeah. It's easier for me to keep them warmer in those tubs than it is a 36,000 gallon pond. Yeah, 100%. So, okay, very cool. So I'll take this guy. We'll get him a home. That's awesome. We haven't had a Mata Mata on the channel in a long time. We got to name him. Does he have a name? No. There you go. No. Let's Comment name him. Comment down below. Comment down Comment below. Down. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy set up, man. So yeah. let me show you where he's going to live. Uh, did I grab... Oh, I only grabbed one camera. So what I'll do is uh, I'll get some nice shots of this guy swimming here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, a little fly river. There's the little guy. Yeah. That's all. He's getting big. Yeah, he's getting big. Yeah. So... This is the pond. This is awesome, dude. It's probably better from above. Gotcha. It's really different. It's 50-50 right now. The water is clear, dirty, clear, dirty, gotcha. clear, dirty. It is so 50-50 in this pond. Gotcha, man. Um, but right now it's going through its... Uh, so what I do is every day, I'll just do like 25% every, every day. There's so much bio load in here that gotcha. it's just like... I'll drop this much water and I'll bring it back up. Drop gotcha, this much gotcha. water bring it back up. It's the only That's way incredible. to keep it with this amount of fish. Yeah, man. You got to overflow. Right. So how many fish are in here? Oh, goodness. Probably like 10 catfish. Got a big arowana right here. Oh, my God. Right here. Yep. There he is. You can see him over here in the window. What I figured would be cool, since things are kind of being moved around, I took off. But here's what I was psyched about, is he's got those windows down there, and I thought, how cool would it be to see, to see a fly river come by? Go grab him, dude. Get him in there. And what's cool about this guy being in here is the temperatures. Uh, he's got tropical catfish, tropical fish in here. Yeah, it stays, stays around it like stays 75 down. degrees. Yeah, that's perfect. So you can actually get him right in there. This that. is it, people. Look at the big catfish coming. Yeah, now. What's cool is predatory, not predatory friends, but um, ready? All right, get him right in there, dude. Get it. Whoa! Yeah, there look at this guy. This is huge. Oh, he's got a big old place to go. Yeah, he does. That is awesome, man. This is huge, guys. So, the tub he was in was just an eight foot round tub. This is what I wanted to see him in, so I figured yeah. it'd be much nicer. So he's eating yeah. pellets, he's eating bananas, awesome. romaine, awesome. super easy. So, I mean, he'll eat the same pellets you feed. It's a great gift. Fish. 
Hey, it's Christmas. I appreciate that, buddy. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. That's I got a lot of money. See, when you give <laughs> without ex- exactly. Yep. See that? That was so it cool. Fifty-five hundred gallons. Yeah. Big freshwater pond. Of course. We'll keep you updated over on my channel, and of course, if Kenan ever wants to come visit, he's always welcome. He only lives awesome. two minutes away. Two minutes away. Yeah. Pretty rad. So there you have it, everybody. We, we've, we're we spreading the love of reptiles here yep. uh, to Paul's channel. And uh, if you don't follow Paul, go check him out, Paul Cafaro on YouTube. Uh, and dude, thanks as always. I'm glad you're a neighbor. Yeah, right? I'm glad you nice have these close. resources. And exactly. if one day you come across a day where you're like, hey, I could really use that big fly river or something. I'm going. All right, you're right. That's how I am Great too. Pickings, man. I'm the same way, yeah. dude. We're just Good here to, to help see. each other. That's I it. love it. All right, guys. Neighbors. Follow up all. He'll have some updates on that turtle. And uh, hey, see you in the I next got one. yeah. See you in the next one, and I'll go grab a mata mata. How awesome! <laughs> I've been here in a while, Paul. What do you got going on? This is an interesting uh, situation. Oh my god! Monster bullfrog. What the heck? Wait, that's a North American bullfrog. I, yes, it's a giant bullfrog. Here. No way. Go ahead. He's got the fattest legs. Oh, don't don't show any French people. They eat frog legs. Oh yeah, that's some tasty legs oh, right there. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that butt! Whoa, dude! But he's got he's got a butt on him for he sure. He does. That's awesome. Yeah. I hate when he leaves, but I love to watch him go. <laughs> there you go. That's so rad. And you yeah. built this whole thing for him? Just for him. That is yeah. so sick, man. I love it. I figured I was like, he's a really big, big, big character on the channel. Oh, like what's his name? Cornelius. Cornelius? Yeah. Cornelius is also the name. I don't know if you know this. I may have said this to you. I think I might have said this Deja to you. Deja vu moment? I think so, but Cornelius, some of you uh, old school bearded people like me. I think you did mention this. Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I think Cornelius. you Cornelius. Yep. I did a whole thing in here, didn't yep. I? I? Yeah, did, see, I did. I yeah, we spoke that. about that. Cornelius is one of the main characters of the original Planet of the Apes. But anyway. he's much bigger than he was last time. Oh, saw. dude, he's insane. Yeah. And he's gnarly. Doesn't he bite you and stuff? He, I mean, if I, when he used to have his dungeon yeah. in there, he would bite me all the time. So he's aggro. Now, now he's a little he's bit chilling. chilling. Yeah. yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. This is so awesome, man. He, that Pothos is going to cover this whole thing. That's the goal. Yep, and then he'll have a really cool area. Do you ever hear him do his, uh, his never, vocalization? Never heard it yet. Oh, man, it's such I a cool sound. I think, personally, whether he's a male or female, I, don't, I honestly don't know how to he's tell. probably a male. He's very He's big. big I, yeah. I'm not schooled on bullfrogs, though. Someone uh, in the comments below, let me know. Yeah, how do you tell the difference between a male and female bullfrog? I don't know, but he is good looking. I think sure. maybe if I did bring a vice versa male or female in, yeah, you may do that calling maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Something again I'm tweaking. Oh, uh, it's and such he, a cool sound. He's 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 a quiet guy. That's yeah, well sure. that's awesome, dude. I'm glad to see this. This is really cool. And uh Paul's got a lot happening on his a channel lot. in his fish room. He's building saltwater ponds, another pond's going there. I, I don't know. Would you so you call these ponds? Yeah. 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 It's just they, they're just huge. The cool thing is about these ponds that we do here is the best part of it is about these ponds that we do here is cool because they're they're from scratch. Like yeah. a lot of people are buying like I did before the fiberglass and it's just boom, that's it, it's done. I mean we're doing the whole process from going and buying the wood to creating like this video we're making right now is all from from a frame and we're pouring the concrete and everything. Really? Dude, I'm kinda interested because yeah. that looks cool and here's the thing that I've been thinking about and tell me what you guys think of this so I do have another fly river I cannot yeah. house fly river turtles but here's what I'm thinking keep a, a fly river alone in the rec pond with my two big batter of finnets and I wanted to build something just you know in the back of yeah. the rec pond oh, right yeah. immediately on the back yeah. build something up yeah. with a window like you have here yeah, and put the other really, fly really river cool. in there is this something I could do man 100% so this pond was strictly made out of, you know, eight by two, and then we would do our 10 by two, and then you'd simply just put these these drills into the concrete. Okay. And you put wood up, plywood. So That's wait, it. this is this whole thing made of concrete? Oh, wood, this is not a single bit of concrete. Really? Yep. And then the inside is pond armor. I and, know pond armor, and if you look, I've used that before. See this ledge? Yep. You just make a little two by four lip, and you stick your window right in and silicone. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and this thing is, not one leak. When I first did it, I had a slight leak, but we learned from it, made it yeah. better, and that's it. No way, dude. Yeah. I gotta check out the video of you making this. He's got some really cool fish in there, some rasses in there. Those are like the cleanup crew, yep. right? Yep. And yeah. the man the man of the hour that built it all is right outside. Is he really? I do want to get his number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of interesting. All right, man, I like this idea. Let me know what you guys think. Should I build a dedicated Fly River Turtle aquarium pond yep. right off the back of the rec pond? So when you're in the rec pond, you could just kind of go to the back edge 100%. and see that turtle swim. I think it would be awesome. Yeah, that would, that would, I love awesome. the way you've uh, kind of finished it here. Yep. There's some, you know, 
I, I, you know, liquid now. Yeah, this is cool. I love this, but I also have the Universal Rock might be a cool face That's as even well. Cooler. I would yeah. love to do that on the new one. Oh, we got to get Gino Stewart? No. Oh, well, you're about to because I'm going <laughs> to call Stewart right now. All right, cool. Let's get you set up with Stewart because this would be the perfect application yeah. for Universal Rock. That'd be awesome. Awesome, dude. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. So how cool is that, friends? Oh, I go on over to give Paul a fly river turtle and I come back with a Mata Mata, which we haven't had in a little while. So I'm kind of excited. But we're gonna go ahead and put this one back in one of these tubs, to be perfectly honest. This way I can kind of keep the animal happy and safe. Oh, and these guys are almost filled up to capacity. Let's see. Oh, let's put it down. Yeah, they're stirring up all the sediment that was on the bottom, but it's filling up nicely here. Let's see this guy. How awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put him, I'm gonna move that fake stuff off, but here it is. Such a cool species, okay? It looks like a leaf, looks like the bottom of the pond or river or actually slow moving stream more likely where there's gonna be a lot of leaf litter. That's where these guys like to live. So let's go ahead and put him right up on this and he can walk into the water. Oh, careful. He can walk into the water where he wants, but that is amazing. That's so cool. We've got nice warm water coming out of here. Pretty pumped on the whole situation, man. That is amazing. All right, good stuff. So my animals are gonna be comfortable and they're gonna be warm and that's important. And then once the good weather comes again, and to be honest, just not too very long here, uh, we'll go ahead and put this guy in the wreck pond. So that would be so cool to have a Mata Mata living in the recreation pond here at Camp Kennan. I want to say thanks to my buddy Paul Cafaro for taking the Fly River and for giving me this really cool Mata Mata. So I'll uh, see you guys real soon. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll talk to you on another episode of Camp Kennan. See you.